Let's take a look at these three questions here. 700 divided by 70 is where we'll start. Now, 700 divided by 70, another way to write that is as a fraction, 700 over 70. What we're doing is we're taking 700 and we're splitting it evenly into 10 groups and seeing how many will be in each group. So what I see here is I can see that I have two, a common um, factor in both, that I have 70 in both which if I divide both sides by 70, which I'm already doing as you can see, I'm going to end up with 10. Now the easiest way to do that is when we're looking at a fraction that has a zero on the top and the bottom, you could actually get rid of those zeros and then you end up with 70 divided by 7 for your total of 10. In the next problem we have 300 divided by 10. Let's try that same trick. We can get rid of one zero in the top if there's a zero in the bottom, and now we have 30 divided by 1, which is equal to 30. And last, we have 900 divided by 10. We get rid of a zero in the numerator and the denominator. We have 90 divided by 1, which is 90. So this is just a quick trick when you're doing little drills that involve dividing by 10. Um, when you have, you know, zeros in both the numerator and the denominator, or in this case, in both the dividend and the divisor.